Ah, there you are, good brother. Father and I had wondered where you had gone. I've been looking all night. For her. Her? The beautiful one I danced the evening with. Where did she go? Disappeared. Like the fine morning mist. She was lovely. The loveliest. I am not certain of that. I must confess I too have found a lovely maiden. She lives here in the woods. The woods? Yes. In the top of a tall tower that has no door or stairs. Where? Two leagues from here, due east, just beyond the mossy knoll. And how do you manage a visit? I stand beneath her tower and say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. And then she lowers the longest, most beautiful head of hair, yellow as corn, which I climb to her. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, what kind of a name is that? You jest. I've never heard of such a thing. I speak the truth. She is as true as your maiden. A maiden running from a prince. None would run from us. Yet one has. Did I abuse her or show her disdain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me? Agony, beyond power of speech, when the one thing you want is the only thing out of your reach. High in a tower, she, she sits by the hour, maintaining her hair. Lithe and becoming, and frequently humming a lie 